Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Sinister Motives expansion playthrough, and this time we are playing the fourth scenario in Fox, which is the Sinister Six. Uh, we are playing with Miles Morales, Spider Man, and it is the pre built Justice deck from the box, and we are playing on standard difficulty. Uh, we have already set up the scenario and shuffled the deck, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So, as with the previous playthroughs, we are playing on standalone mode, so we are not playing with the campaign added uh, cards or anything like that. Uh, I wanted to play these scenarios in standalone just to show how the scenarios work before adding anything else to them. Uh, I am using the pre built justice deck from the box with Spider Man. And in this scenario, we are facing quite similar as with the Wrecking Crew scenario, multiple villains at a time. We have only one active villain at one time, and the active villain counter is here. It will shift to other villains during the scenario from uh, triggered effects. Uh, we have the main scheme in play. Uh, the main scheme setup. Uh, makes us uh, put uh, X amount of villains into play and X is 1 plus the number of players. So as I'm playing through solo, we have two villains. We have the uh, Craven, the Hunter and Vulture in play. These are uh, decided uh, randomly. So we have the others here. We have others. We have Hobgoblin, Electro, Dr. Octopus and Scorpion. So if we need to put one in play, we pick from these. Also, when we defeat the villains that are in play, they go back in out of play area and maybe uh, may come into play uh, a second or as many times as needed. Uh, we have two threat on the main scheme. The main scheme has an ambush special ability. So uh, when we have to resolve the ambush, we choose a set aside villain at random, put that villain into play, and place the active counter on it. And uh, we ignore the expert mode because we're playing on standard mode. Uh, fourth interrupt when a villain would activate. If no villain is in play, we resolve the ambush ability. So we always have a villain in play. Villains don't get um, multiple multiples of the health. They just come into play with the health printed, not per player. Threshold is 8 per player for the main scheme. And uh, we also have the side scheme light at the end on the trap side uh, set into play at the start of the scenario. Uh, it comes into play with 10 threat plus 10 uh, hinder 10 per player. So hinder is a keyword that means add threat to the scheme uh, by the amount indicated. So 10 per player, so we have 20, and uh, the players cannot, let's look at this a bit more closely, so uh, the players cannot win unless they escape. Forced interrupt, when the last threat is removed from this scheme, resolve the ambush ability on the main scheme, flip this card, the players can escape on the other side. So our goal is to remove all the threat from here and advance that to the other side and then do what is needed over there. So uh, I think uh, that is mostly all. So we just quickly look. So each of these uh, villains have the when defeated uh, trigger. So remove four threat from a side scheme, seven threat instead. If no other villain is in play. Set this villain aside. And uh, then they have the force response, and they differ a bit depending on the villain. I'm, I won't go into detail on those. I'll resolve them when they are uh, activated. Uh, we draw our opening hand of six cards. So we get uh, Arachnopathics, Surveillance Team, Field Agent, Web Shoot, uh, Energy and Government Liaison. So I think I'm going to, uh, going to play um, something. Well, I think Arachnopathics is not useful at the start, or is it? We could play Web Shoot. Uh, let's actually keep the whole hand. 
Mm, or should I? Yeah, well, I think I'm just setting up, so I'll, I'll discard that. And uh, we could play this and play that. Okay, let's see what we draw. Well, another government liaison, so I think this is okay to start with. Uh, nothing to play in the Alter Ego, we'll go to the hero side. Uh, first I will play uh, Government Liaison, I'll cheapen one card and play Surveillance Team. Actually, let's not even do that. I'll cheapen one card and play the Field Agent, and then I'll use these two to... Actually, I don't want to do that either. Let's just um, think about this for a moment. Uh, we could play... We want to play the web shoot. Web shot, rather. Then uh, we'll play... Government liaison. And keep the surveillance team in hand. Okay, I'll, I'll do it like that. So, first off, we'll play... Uh, government liaison. Then we'll play web shoot. A uh, web shot. It is a, a deal four damage to an enemy. You paid with the uh, energy result the Spider-Man's Venom Blast ability. So we'll deal uh, four damage onto the on the Craven, and we'll resolve the Venom Blast. So we'll stun, deal two additional damage. And then I will uh, port for two over here. I think that's okay. So we're ready up. We'll keep the surveillance team in hand. One, two, three, four cars. So Agent 13, Sky Destroyer, Ghost Fighter, and Global Logistics. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, we remove the stun so the villain doesn't activate and nothing ha else happens so we get an encounter card and it is coordinated effort each enemy gains acceleration icon uh, we have six threat on this scheme so we really need to get rid of that so that we don't advance too fast but that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase Next up, I think I will play. We really want to get rid of as much threat as possible. Hmm. We can cheapen one. Um, we could defeat Craven and remove four threat from here and then towards. That. So then Vulture will activate against us, but it is what it is. So I'm cheapening a card using um, Ghost Spider and Surveillance Team to play Sky Destroyer. We have this one card in hand. Then I will play Global Logistics, look at the top four cars here, and uh, we really don't want to see cars that uh, uh, trigger the ambush, so we probably uh, leave it. Leave these on top, these go on the bottom. And we trigger this to deal two damage here. Oh, here we are not able to defeat Craven yet, or or we are, but we can't get that rid of that. But it is one uh, acceleration token less. So this moves over here. Craven is uh, defeated. Then uh, we remove four threat from a ski side scheme. 
is this one because we want to get rid of it. Keep this, uh, we'll actually discard it. And um, that is it. So we draw back up uh, ready, draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Build agent, homeland, intervention, power within, Monica Chang, and web shots. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we have to add two because of the one that I got there. Uh, vulture attacks, and uh, I will defend. So, two plus two, and in. Okay. So four, so we take two damage, and then we have to activate this um, force response. After vulture attacks and dam damages, you choose and discard one card from your hand. Move the active counter to the next villain, but there is no other uh, villain. So we will discard uh, field agent. And that is probably it. Actually, no, we just got power within. And then we get an encounter card. It is from every direction. Place one threat on the main scheme for each enemy in play. And we'll just put one threat on the main scheme. And uh, that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start by uh, cheapening a card. We'll play Monica Chan, and we search for a surveillance team and put it into play. And we pay it with web shot and uh, field agent. Then I will put some counter, so we get four here because of Monica. Chang's ability. Uh, we don't want to trigger this because we want to use it for something else. We'll play Homeland Intervention and we exhaust two cards. Uh, actually, we'll exhaust one card so that we can uh, get rid of this one. Then we'll exhaust these two. To remove two from here. Uh, math is hard sometimes, so four left here. And that is everything we can do. We ready up. We draw back up to six. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. We get young love, field agent, genius, surveillance, scene, and homeland intervention. So I think good cards to remove threat with. Uh, then uh, we go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Vulture attacks. I will I will defend with Spider-Man. So two plus uh, put this minion in play engage with you. So uh, the engaged player cannot thwart side schemes. So at least we can get rid of a lot of uh, threat here and then start dealing damage to this. So uh, we don't take any damage, so we don't lose cards. Encounter card is uh, Shadows of the Past, so we get Prowler. This is getting out of hand, and we shuffle this into the deck. So we are luckily in um, Hero mode, so Prowler's uh, when revealed effect doesn't trigger. Uh, Prowler also has Stalwart, so we can't stun or confuse him. And uh, then we get Tracking Prey. So it has four threat and we can't remove it, and it has boost icon. So we're in a bit of a pickle here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, how do we want to do this? So. We really need to get rid of Prowler somehow. We can deal. Uh, can't even deal. Like we can deal three damage to Prowler, I think. 
that is it. So you play homeland intervention to get rid of a lot of threat on the main scheme. You just can't uh, get rid of the threat on the side schemes. So we are not playing young love. Use that to play kill agent, play surveillance team, and play homeland intervention. That is a good plan. So we'll put kill agent into play. Then we'll put another surveillance team into play. Then uh, we'll use, um, we'll actually deal two damage on Prowler. I've actually saved a card. Well, uh, we can that for the homeland intervention so I'll do that so exhausting three cards we'll remove six threat then I will hit with Monica Chang using this so I don't take the consequential damage one damage here and that is all we can do actually let's uh, change the play a bit. So we'll be two here and not exhaust the Sky Destroyer. And when we play that, we'll exhaust that and defeat Prowler. Or uh, never mind, I, I forgot I already used that for that. Too much to keep track of, so yeah, this is empty. So that is everything we can do. Uh, we ready up. Draw back up to. Mm, should we risk going to Alter Ego? I think I'll go to Alter Ego. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh yeah. Before I end, uh, this, I'll shuffle one. Uh, one Spider Man car, which is a web, sh uh, web shot into the deck before we draw. Three, four, five, six. We get Spider Woman, Global Logistics, Dum Dum Duncan, swinging in in Homeland Intervention, Arachnopathics. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add two threats here. Uh, Vulture schemes for one plus two is three. And Prowler schemes for one, so we're at six. Counter card is uh, Taunting Presence attacks the villain with the most remaining hit points. Uh, threat cannot be removed from mind at the end. Well, that did matter that much uh, at this point. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We have some choices for this round. So we could, well, we are definitely defeating Prowler. Then we should. Uh, Thoughts doing something to the vulture. So, uh, let's see. We really want to use arachnopathics. Swinging in, that's actually good. Let's see if um, we need to defeat this guy somehow also to be able to remove a threat from side schemes. Uh, we, we can remove uh, without thwarting, okay, that, that helps us a lot. So actually, Homeland Intervention is not thwart, 
ability it just removes threat okay so that that is a loophole I missed so mm, let's think about it for a moment more I think I will use spider woman and uh, Global logistics to play swinging in. We use the um, entire resource so we get to confuse and get a tough. Oh, yeah, uh, we'll heal first. Or we don't even want to heal, we'll just go to hero mode. So swinging in, uh, we remove four threat from a scheme, so and that is a thwart, so uh, we can remove it from here. And then, um, we want to hit Vulture. Uh, let's think about it for a moment. So we'll play this. Uh, we'll uh, exhaust this. We're not playing shield card, so this. We just ignore Prowler for a moment. So. Okay. Um, so we remove. We don't have to re uh, use all of, all of them. This to play arachnopathic steel five here. Then uh, we'll play homeland intervention. Exhaust these two. Uh, remove four from here. Then we'll. We played that so we can crawler. Then we can defeat vulture, removing seven from here. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, this will remove two more from. main scheme then uh, Chang will remove one from here taking one consequential we'll flip to alter ego shuffle swinging in no uh, we want web shot so we can sometimes defeat the life size deploy That is it, so we're ready. Go back up to six. So Vulture was defeated. We don't have a villain in play, but we'll have one soon enough. So web shot. Uh, web shooter, gankly, Spider-Man, government liaison, strength and double life. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Uh, we have to resolve the 
uh, ambush so we get one uh, villain at random and we'll get a uh, vulture again okay well it is what it is at least vulture is uh, low hit points villain so that is something uh, vulture schemes for one plus two and we deal one in indirect damage, so I'll take it on. Um, well, Monica Chang can be defeated. We don't want to lo lose that tough. And uh, then we get an encounter card. Please take one for the team. And uh, that's the villain with the highest attack. If you cannot, well, cannot attack villains who do not have an attached copy of take one for the team, so we have to attack Walter. Well, that doesn't other us at all. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Um, let's see what we can do. I think I want to play Yang Li. Strength. I'll draw a card. Defense mechanism. That is actually okay. And. Uh, Uh, we have good cars for Spider-Man, so I'll actually flip. Then we will use the government liaison to play web shooter. I'll use web shooter, double life, and defense mechanism. Use this as a power, uh, as a physical. To play Spider-Man, and uh, after Spider-Man attacks or thwarts, choose another Web Warrior character already that character. So that is useful for us for this turn. So uh, this only stops us from attacking other villains. So we'll attack life-size decoy, attack life-size decoy, and attack no uh, attack. Life size decoy again. Then we'll uh, remove some threat from here. And that is our turn. Yeah, we spent one from here. Uh, we'll go to the uh, villain phase first. Be ready. Draw up to five. We get swinging in, web shot, Jefferson Davis, web shot, and web shot. Okay, well, that's enough of web shot. I will add a threat to the main scheme. Vulture attacks. I will take it. Uh, we get another life size decoy. No damage, we lose the tough. Encounter card is uh, robotic enhancements in. Uh, uh, not, not in expert mode, so when revealed, put the set aside Dr. Octopus and Scorpio into play. Okay, so we get Doc Ock and Scorpion. And this have the active order, which I forgot to talk about, so uh, this has one, five and six, so after Vulture next time activates, we move this. Dr. Ock, and then onwards. And uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. We don't have any shield cards to play, which is a shame. Um, we could actually try to get one. Nice. And we lose Jefferson Davis. Then. I will so let's see what we can do. So first off I'll hit five size decoy for two. Hit it again for two more. Ready. Oh, 
for two more. Then, um, let's see. We'll use swinging in and one web shot to play web shot. We'll hit the vulture because we can't attack others, so we deal four and also deal two because we uh, used uh, energy resource. We also stun the enemy or the villain. Then uh, we'll play Global Logistics, look at the top 4 cards here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Also I need to add uh, 10 hit points and Dark Oak has 8, of course, 8. Ten here, put 8, Dark Oak. So uh, we play global logistics, and uh, we want to put that underneath that. Underneath that is nasty. That underneath uh, brute force barricade. No, we'll just put it all, everything underneath and defeat vulture. So this moves to the next in line. So we get to remove four threat from a scheme, which is I think here, and it needs to be the side scheme. Then um, we want to keep removing threat from here, and uh, I think that is everything we can do. We don't have any anything else to play, so we discard. We ready up and I'll draw a cup, so I'll get an card. card. Shuffle my player deck. Five cards. We have web shooter, double life, government liaison, web shooter, and spider woman. We go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Doc Ock activates. I will. Let's see. So, that is unavoidable, but. We'll defend with Spider-Man. So, oh, wrong, wrong deck. So, um, Spider-Man is defeated, but we don't take any damage, so we don't activate. But um, then encounter cards. Razor claws. Uh, we don't have any minions to this searches. Assault, Dark Oak att attacks again. But I have to defend. Uh, again, wrong deck. So, uh, we don't take any damage. Then, uh, frequent flyers. Uh, we put Hop, Coplin, and Vulture into play. Oh dear. Hop, Coplin, and Vulture come into play. And uh, we have to actually do this so we get everything to fit here nicely. So Hopcoplin has 9 and Vulture 7. That is it. Uh, just double checking. So, so 
none of them were in play so we don't resolve anything else on the cards and that is that turn let's go to the next turn okay uh, let's see what we can do so first of I'll use this to draw one card and discard this one we could um, play spider woman actually I'll use this and Ineos to play spider woman activate this and deal you want to just defeat Vulture as fast as possible or Is it is. Then I will use double life on web shooter source and deal four damage to a villain. And the spider woman will hit vulture for two damage, defeating vulture. And uh, we get to uh, remove four threat from a side scheme. Uh, no, not there. Actually, removing here. So uh, we advance this. So now we have light at the end. Chase permanent hinder ten. Players cannot win unless they escape. Fourth and drop. When the last threat is removed from this scheme, the players escape and win the game. So we have fifteen threat there, which we need to get rid of to win. So we just need to survive that long. Oh yeah, um, I could have actually saved the double uh, web shooters. Actually. Using this for Spider Woman. So I'm, yeah, and I'm actually doing this too. And I'll remove one thread from the main. No, no, no. Uh, that is everything we ready up. We draw back up to five. Actually, going to alter ego to six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We'll add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Dog Ock. Schemes for two plus one is three, so that is okay. Encounter card, so we get the extra encounter card now. High fashion, put the set aside Electron Craven, <laughs> so we have almost all of the Sinister Six in play. So we need to reorder these. Just putting Duck Oak over here. It's a bit tight with all of these. Electro comes here. Craven is here. No, oh, Hobgoblin should be here. Craven. Scorpion. Okay, so uh, Electro has uh, 8 hit points. Upcoupling has 9. And Craven has nine, and now that should be correct. And uh, just sliding off the top of the into the queue. And uh, high fashion done. Surprise, uh, result the ambush ability on the main scheme. Okay. 
Hello, Vulture. Vulture is over here. So we have all of the Sinister Six in play, and we still need to remove 14 threat from the main scheme, or oh, from the light at the end to win. So, 7. And uh, that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, I think we try to just burst down the light at the end and see where that goes. So we'll can do this in Alter Ego. So I'm just. Uh, thinking so we will uh, play field agents uh, we will twat for one use this then we will mm, uh, we'll go a card Surveillance team will play surveillance team. Use both surveillance teams to remove two. We'll play Homeland uh, Intervention one. Two and three to remove six. And uh, that is it. I won't even go to hero mode. Can let that advance for once and then try to eat it. I think we missed uh, the part where we have to resolve the ambush, but we got everyone in play, so it doesn't matter. I think it doesn't. Uh, still we have to re uh, add three threat here. I think that should be correct now. And uh, I think that is everything we want to do this round. Uh, we'll uh, discard that, keep that in hand, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, mm, swinging in, swinging in, so we can definitely remove everything from there, hopefully. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one, we advance this. So choose and set aside random nothing. So nothing happens because everyone is in play. And we have seven threats here, so we started. Oh dear, we might lose. Let's see. So two plus and we lost. Um, I forgot that this act actually has three at the start, so... <sighs> Damn it. Uh, so, Duck Ock uh, schemes for two plus two, so four. And that only has seven, so we are unfortunately threaded out. But if we wouldn't have next round we would have flipped played swinging in swinging in remove all from here and win the game and also i've been forgetting this so it is a moot point we already lost so but still this is pretty much how this uh, scenario functions so hope you guys found this playthrough interesting and useful to see how this uh, scenario works and how the pre-built justice deck can uh, deal with this so thanks for watching and until next time.